after a difficult year in 2022. I didn't get a win. Overall, pretty shocking year. My goal is to get back on the top. I'm trying to win a world championship again and reclaim my eighth. I can't really remember winning, if I'm really honest. Uh, it's been like a minute, so like I don't remember what that feeling is. I need to take back the championship that was taken from me. I need to own it. Yeah, it's hard to keep behind me. Oh, what a move from Fernando Alonso! Yeah! That's a P5, mate. Real tough race. We got some serious work to do to close the gap. What a fucking performance. How fast will Hamilton go on his home track? Okay, so that's uh, P7. He's so slow. Get close and fast. It's kind of slow, mate. When the car is terrible, I feel helpless. I can try and deliver each weekend, but you can only do so much with what you got. Fernando has really made the great decision. On one side, this is really inspiring. Um, yeah, and then on the flip side, it's obviously Frustrating, for sure. Lewis will be watching Fernando and thinking, why is that not me? My mindset's really like, okay, we've had two difficult years. So my goal is to get back on the top. I'm trying to win a world championship again. And... But then we get in the car in 2023 and it's the evil sister. <laughs> last year. I remember complaining to the team and being like, look, we have to make these changes. Like, otherwise, this is the trajectory we're going to go on and this is where we're going to end up. And it's, it's, please, please do something about it. And I remember that they said, like, um, we know what we're doing. Um, you're wrong. And that was definitely an interesting moment. I mean, I just, I was like, OK. I step back, don't want to step on anybody's toes. And and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> when we got into the season, then we spoke again, and like, oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I just feel so incredibly hungry to win and willing to sacrifice pretty much everything um, in order to get to, to, to get to where I need to be. Last year, the development of the car. You weren't happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, sticking to the concept from last year, holding on to it because of the encouraging results at the end. That's the biggest failure. It's the biggest failure. Yeah. Um, because last year led us in the wrong, you know. Yeah. The time has come to cut our losses and say, that the concept of this car is never going to work. We've got to change it for next year. But I don't want to wait until 2026 when we have the new engine regulations. Um, Frick, me neither. You can be here for like 20 more years, 30 more years. I can't. <laughs> well, who says that? Well, this is precious years for me.